Hello. In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. Suppose f is an injective function from a to b, and b is finite. Then a is also finite, and the number of elements in a is less than or equal to the number of elements in b. Okay, now in proving this theorem, we are going to use two preliminary results regarding finite sets. Here's the first one. Given any two sets a and b, if b is finite and there's a bijection from a to b, then a is also finite, and the number of elements in a is equal to the number of elements in b. Here's the second preliminary result. Given any two sets a and b, if b is finite and a is a subset of b, then a is also finite, and the number of elements in a is less than or equal to the number of elements in b. Okay, so now let's get into proving this theorem. So we're given that f is an injective function from a to b, and we're given that b is finite. The whole goal is to prove that a is also finite, and that the number of elements in a is less than or equal to the number of elements in b. Now to start out the proof, let's define j to be the range of f. Now if we recall, every function is surjective to its range. So f is surjective to j. And what this means is, is if we think of f as a function from a to j, then f is injective and f is surjective to j. And that tells us that f is a bijection from a to j. So there exists a bijection from a to j. Now another thing is that we know that the range of f is a subset of the codomain of f. So the range of f is a subset of b, or in other words, j is a subset of b. Well, since b is finite and j is a subset of b, this second fact tells us that j is also finite, and the number of elements in j is less than or equal to the number of elements in b. But then, since j is finite, and there's a bijection from a to j, the first fact tells us that a is finite, and the number of elements in a is equal to the number of elements in j. But then, since the number of elements in a is equal to the number of elements in j, which is less than or equal to the number of elements in b, these two facts tell us that the number of elements in a is less than or equal to the number of elements in b. So, at this point, we have shown that a is finite, and the number of elements in a is less than or equal to the number of elements in b. And that is exactly what we wanted to prove. So this completes the proof. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.